So what's going on guys, welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Edge Anime. In this video I'll show you guys how to create some rollover buttons with symbols. Go to file and then select import and this is going to be the button. This is just a graphic from Illustrator and it's a PNG file. To start this off, we're going to press Ctrl T, add a stop trigger in the beginning of the timeline. And then what we're going to do is create a symbol. So right click on this, select convert to symbol. I'm going to call it button 1. Double click on it. And the cool thing about Edge Anime is that this is going to have its own timeline. So what we can do over here in the beginning of this timeline, Control T, and add another stop trigger. And what this does is that when the person sees this button, it's just going to show blue. But what we want to do is roll over this and change the color. So what we're going to do over here is add a label called Hue. And that's because we're going to change the hue of this. Right over here, add another stop trigger. But let's go to the beginning of this label, and we're going to select this button. Select Filters on the left. One keyframe for the hue. That's going to be blue. And then move over here to the stop trigger. And we're going to adjust this. And let's leave it at purple. So you have blue, and then you have purple. Add one more label, and that's going to be to the beginning of this timeline. Control L, and we're going to call this button. That way when someone rolls out of this, they're going to go to the beginning of the timeline. They're going to get stop trigger, and it's just going to show the original color. So that's what we want. So let's come over here and right click on this button, open actions, and select mouse over, play, in quotations, here. Now when somebody rolls over, it's going to go to the purple. Then you're going to add another action and select on mouse out, play, in quotations, button. So we're going to add one more action, select click, open URL, and we'll leave it at adobe.com. And we just want to do one more thing over here, and that's add a cursor, so select auto, and then select a pointer. So now we have a pointer cursor when somebody rolls over this. And I'm just going to increase the speed of the animation because I want this to be a little bit quicker when somebody rolls over it. If you want the animation to take longer, all you have to do is separate these keyframes. Now one of the cool things about using symbols like this, if you want to do this again, all you have to do is take the same symbol over here, right click on it, select duplicate, and then we're going to bring the button onto the stage. Double click this. So if you want to make this say like green, you can do like that. And then that goes to purple. It's really about what you want to do, obviously. And then we can also change the URL. So right click on this, open actions, youtube.com, Adobe Easy Tips. Now we have two buttons. Control enter one goes to Adobe and this one goes to my YouTube channel so that's how you create some rollover buttons with symbols in Adobe Edge Anime I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you liked it give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial cheers